been reacting to a new series called L Street. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and click onto that. It's a playlist of the first three episodes. About motherfucking time. <laughs> I've been waiting for this episode, episode four. Shamika and Tamika TV uploaded a video called our relationship with God has us scared to get married. Ooh, child, we about to talk about God, okay? I said God. And this is very important to me in my life as well, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right to it. Are y'all ready? Because I am. Let's get it. There's three things in this world that I absolutely do not play about. One is my money and business, my wife and family, and lastly, my faith in God. And not in that particular order. But see, this is Girl, I was gonna say, that's the order. Cause for me, God is number one. So, okay, I got you. It gets a little bit tricky because homosexuality and God don't always seem to reside in the same sentence. Mm -hmm. And in any case that it does, it's never really in a good light. But what happens when you fall in love? That's when it gets really complicated. Oh, child. <laughs> I could remember being so depressed and so miserable because I was like, I can't get married. You know what I'm saying? Because of all of the things that I've heard going to church and things like that. And I'm just like, I'm going to be miserable for the rest of my life mm. because like I couldn't imagine getting married and knowing some of the um, reluctance that I had because of the things that I've read passages that I read, people that I talked to, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. I'm like, I'm not going to be able to be married. But then I also knew that I couldn't be with a man either. I sure so know. it left me in limbo, <laughs> and it had me depressed, uh. dude. Like, I'm talking about, like, I could remember going on a whirlwind because I, at that point, I did not know what to do. And it's just like, it's weird because it's not like I don't know handsome dudes or that I never dated a man. It's just that right. they don't do it for me, man. It's like, and I always felt like, man. It just is, y'all. Homosexuality is something you are born with. It's not a birth defect. It's not a disease. I'm gonna tell you something, okay? If you believe in God, God created every single one of us the way we are. If being homosexual is that bad, why did God create us in this way? Think about it. And I'm not talking about what the Bible says, because remember, the Bible was written by men a long, long, long time ago. They said that Jesus said that God wants this, Jesus wants this. Y'all, come on, man. I could say the same thing. I could write a book right now and say the same thing. But did God really tell me? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to offend anybody who is religious because I do believe in God. I just want y'all to really think things through. It would be so, so selfish of me to get in a relationship because of what everybody else think with a man and do him dirty because I would never be able to love him to the capacity that a woman should love a man. You know what I'm saying? Like seriously, and it's like, to me, I feel like that's not fair. It's like, all right, we're doing everything politically correct. I'm dating a dude, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever, I'm married to a dude, but I don't love him. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about him. So it just, it's, a, it's a disservice to you and to him. That is just as dirty. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, why would somebody even like want to do that? I know I wouldn't want to do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like a big, big moment in my life to where um, I didn't know if I was coming to going, honestly. You know what I'm saying? And it leaves you so depressed, so feeling empty because here you are dying to just be you. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you get crucified for being you. Let alone, like, you know what I'm saying? I go to work every day. You know what I'm saying? I don't F with nobody. You know what I mean? I take care of my family or whatever. I'm doing everything that a man would do with his wife. But then I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? So. And God is not telling us we're wrong, y'all. It's other humans. Other human beings are telling us that it's wrong. Have you, like. <sighs> It's one of those situations. Mm. And what's really aggravating is that, you know, people, um, straight people who don't agree with, um, you know what I'm saying, homosexuality or whatever like that, the first thing they say is that, you know, you need to know God. Like, do you understand the torment that we already go through? 
The shit you telling us, man, we done been dead. We done been researched. We done been cried. We done been flipped out because we don't know where the hell to go. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 mm. it's terrible. Man, when we got married, I think <laughs> it gave us every sign on not to get married. <laughs> shit. Man, look, man, I was nervous as hell. Uh, just a little hell, like the whole day was mayhem, Shawty. Like seriously, we didn't even have a car at the time, so we had to rent a car from. Um, we was actually doing a what's that? What's that Sharon car thing? Oh, zip car. We was doing zip car, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. Got the car and everything like this. So now here it is. We're on the way to go get married. You know what I'm saying? Like seriously, in route, y'all. In route, already running late. Already running. Because of her. You know what I'm saying? Like she's, you guys seen the lives. Like we could never get nowhere on time. You know what I'm saying? So we was running late or whatever. Get in the car to go to the courthouse and the bitch broke down. Oh shit. I'm gonna tell you why you not delivered. I'm uh, gonna tell you what's wrong with you. Walking around here looking like a sissy. Damn. I was raised as- Damn, that's the church. That's the church saying you walking around like a sissy. I grew up Catholic, okay? And I was actually really religious. My parents raised me in that way. We used to go to church every Sunday. And when I turned 16, my parents made it my decision if I wanted to keep going with them every Sunday. And yes, I wanted to. I got my baptism, my communion, and my confirmation, okay? I got everything that I needed to get married in a church. Just to end up finding out that I can't even get married church because I'm gay so I don't know what religion you guys are but it's not also just religion it's also our communities the black community the the Latin community they really look down upon homosexuality I will say though the Latin community has been more open to it but I really I'm not too sure about the black community I from what I know is it's they're still not too open to it but I might be wrong let me know educate me y'all comment below and let me know how it is in the black community I was raised as a Christian in a Christian household. Mm, okay. So religion was something I was, you know, born and raised with. So I definitely had a hard time struggling with my sexuality and, you know, coming out and living my life as, you know, a lesbian or into women, dating women. That was really, really hard because my grandmother is like a really strong mm. Christian. So. Mm. She doesn't really, she's not too fond of that type of lifestyle. So it was really, really hard for me, like, to figure out, like, is this the road I'm going to take? Like, what's going to happen? Like, when I die, like, am I going to go to heaven? Or, you know, so it was a lot. Like, it was a lot of struggling. I read up a lot of uh, information and researched a lot of things. And, you know, at the end of the day, it was just something that I couldn't control, like a right. feeling that I felt that is me, is a part of me, a life that I needed to live, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Regardless of what people may think or, you know, may say about, you know, the lifestyle I chose to live. It's my life, so I figured, you know, why not live my life? The exactly, way that I girl. Live. Yes, I've had boyfriends, I've dated guys, it's just that they're just not my cup of tea. Mm. My first kiss was at 18 with a guy. And it took me that long, because y'all children's, y'all baby kids be kissing at fucking seven, eight years old nowadays. But it took me this long because I was not interested in men and I didn't know why. Until at 19, I figured it out when I started to like my friend. <laughs> but even when I started to discover myself and the feelings that I was having towards another girl, I was religious at that time. So I cried, y'all. I cried in my room thinking about it like, God, like what's going on? Like I don't understand why I'm feeling this way. And the feelings were there. I just, there's nothing you can do if your feelings are there, you know? But it was short lived. I'm not gonna lie to you. Once I gathered my thoughts and my feelings and tried to, figure myself out oh i was out i fucking flew out that closet okay i made sure everybody knew that i like girls so i didn't give a fuck and i know god loves me she was, she was, she was on the phone <laughs> y'all two was on the phone like an angry like just i can't real even mad i can't even describe what i was saying to these people i was like oh my Whoa. god 
Oh my I god. I could feel the heat. It like, was full of beef. If there was steam, like if you could picture steam, Facts. Yes. Facts. <laughs> they over here trying to pop. I'm like, bitch, what you mean? You trying to. What you're saying to me is not getting me closer to the car. I need a car <laughs> now. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Like, you know what I'm <laughs> Yo, I was so pissed off, bro. Like, I can't even describe, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, for real. And then in my back of my heart, in my mind, I'm like, so am I not supposed to get married? You know what I'm saying? Like oh, all of those emotions which is coming up and stuff. So we finally get the car. You know what I'm saying? We are running late as hell. <laughs> you know what I mean? So she oh. has heels. So when we finally get near the courthouse, I to gotta run. drop her off. Go find parking and then hurry up and get to the courthouse, bro. May, May, him. So I dropped her and her mom off, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. Went to go try to find parking. Parking was fucking ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? And then here you got my little ass running through the whole street of downtown. Host girl, how short are you? I asked you in one of the videos. I want to know how short you are. Let me know your height. Downtown, shot. I was running two of my flip flops because I couldn't run in my heels, <laughs> so I didn't want to mess them up or break an ankle. So I had to put the flip flops on. Oh, so you can't prepare, girl. You brought them flip flops in the back of your mind. It's like something's about to go down. So let me bring my flip flops real quick. Run, my mother's like two blocks behind me. I had to like leave Don't her. Don't mess up Barbie. She got bad knees. So I had to leave her in the dust and rush in there and like put my shoes on and stuff like in the hall. Like it was, it was, it was crazy. It was me. When my parents died, um, it was like a turning point in my life. Uh, my dad hit me like a ton of bricks. Okay. And me and my father, we will always speak. You know what I mean? About certain things when it came down to religion. And you know what I'm saying? We talked it through. That's one thing I can always say about my father, man. He was just, he was the best person in the world to talk to. You know what I mean? And um, when they died, it's like, Shamika became something that I can't even describe. Mm. You know what I mean? These were moments of my life that I, I thought I would never be able to get through. Seriously. And, and, it, and what she was to me at that time, I can't even describe. And, and, and it had me very... And y'all think God did not do that for her? Y'all think that God did not bless her with a woman to love and with a woman to love her? Come on, at the time that she needed it the most? Who do you think blessed her? I'm conflicted because I'm like, okay, why would God put this beautiful person in my life? That's what I'm saying, you know what I'm girl. Saying? They helped me through these things that, you know what I'm saying, like, I didn't even foresee myself making my making it through. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it just it, it became crazy, and then I became conflicted again. You know what I'm saying? I decided to marry Shami, um, and this is gonna be something that I'm probably have to deal with for the rest of my life until I meet my maker. Like knowing if I made the right decision in this lifetime. Be married to your right hand, your best friend. Like, I think that that would be, well, that is the most beautiful thing that you can do. Mm. So, I decided to say yes, and we got married, and I feel like it was a good decision on my part. Um, she's everything to me. Like, she makes sure I'm taken care of. She's loving. She's caring. You know, like a positive person. She's beautiful. Okay. And, and, hilarious okay so, like, it's just everything that you look for in a partner you know what i mean not only is are they not only is she just my partner but she's my best friend like i said so What's up? it was like light bulb just do it and i don't regret it at all like you know i mean we do have problems like everybody goes through but I, for the most part like as us Dating and being married, like and being together for 10 years, like I think that's an amazing accomplishment. Like, seriously, like, an Definitely. amazing accomplishment. Especially in the lesbian community, okay? That's hard. See a lot of people, especially young people, that young too. get married young and still right. stay together. If it wasn't for, you know what I'm saying, like us knowing the people who was in the courthouse, oh, yeah. they just so happened to be customers of, my, customers of mine for what I used to do with work, you know what oh, I'm saying? Oh shit, girl, you had to hook up, okay. <laughs> Two of the people right- By the way, I want to say this too. When that car broke down and y'all were running late, that was a test. That was a test from God, and this is what I believe. Not, not to test you to see if you're gonna come to your senses and not marry a woman, okay? I'm not saying that. 
I'm saying this was a test from God challenging you to really think about your life. When it comes to marrying someone and spending the rest of your life with someone that you love, you have to work together through the ups and the downs. So while y'all were struggling getting to that courthouse, y'all managed to make it work, okay? Y'all went through a whole bunch of emotions, getting pissed off with everything that was going on. But y'all made it to the courthouse. So that little bump in the road, y'all managed to move around that hill, you know what I'm saying? And guess what God did? Because you passed that test, when you got to the courthouse, what a coincidence that someone was there that you knew that was able to get you in to get married. That's God, y'all. That's God. God said, you passed the test, I'll make it easier for you now. Daniel. I'm like, yo, please cut us a break. I am trying to get married. You know what I'm saying? I apologize uh -huh. for being late and everything like that, but it was crazy. <laughs> but that's when that's when your brain does kick into gear. Cause I'm thinking like right now, is this something that God is doing? Like, that's why I say girl. Like, nah, like forget the money that we paid to do this and just be like, you know what, maybe this is a sign. Cause that's how you'll be feeling like, especially when you're already going through that turmoil of like you know what i'm saying where you stand with god and just those type of things so like it was it was playing big on us that day everything's a sign by the way everything's a sign and everyone should be paying attention to those signs but not every negative sign is negative it could just be a sign to push you harder to motivate you more it's not necessarily a bad thing but at the end of the day we got married you know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, and that was, what, six years ago? Yeah. Congratulations, you know what ladies. Or whatever, and it's like, you know, I, I'm, seven. I'm going on seven, yeah. Going on seven. I, I'm thankful for our partnership because, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, despite what people think, you know what I'm saying? They just see two women, they think sex, they think that. I know. You know We've been here just trying to, like, Annoying push each other to be our best us. You know what I'm saying? And that's what a relationship's supposed to consist of. You know what I'm saying? Loving that other person who you're with, pushing them to be that better them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. And being there to support them through all endeavors. Even when you don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it's a guitar in the closet. She ain't struck since Listen, I bought it. You know what I'm saying? my string fix. This is COVID. It's hard. <laughs> my string pop. See what I'm talking about? Thanks. Same thing that any other relationship would go through. You know what I'm saying? You can't decide on nothing to eat. So you starve. You know what I'm saying? It's the same shit. Babe, with you, I starve. You know what I mean? I have to start asking you what we're going to so eat for lunch right. at 8 o'clock in the morning. To know by noon. Seriously. You know? You know what I mean? Okay. Seriously. So it's just, That's marriage. it is what it is. But I'm very <laughs> thankful for how everything transpired. And, you know, me, you know what I'm saying, being with Shamika does nothing, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, taking me away from my faith because that's first. Our faith even lead our relationship. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like without God in your relationship, you're gonna be, you're gonna fail. All I know, if you're somebody that's in a relationship and you find yourself conflicted, the only th thing that I can tell you, man, is do as much research as you possibly can. Pray about it, pray so hard about it. You know what I'm saying? And do what you feel is best in your heart. That's all I can say. At the end of the day, like I just feel like if you're struggling or you're confused or don't really know about your sexuality, just take the time and figure out who it is that you are. Because right. at the end of the day, it's your life. You have one life to live. It's That's not right. like you can get a redo or like a restart. You know what I mean? So just live your life and just live it cautiously, live it lovingly, live it caringly. And just be positive. Try to do right by each other. Try to help each other as much just, as much as you can. Because man, at the end of the day, Shawty, we all we got. Gay, black, straight, fat, whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga, we gotta be one together. And and I just think that if we start looking at each other at each other like human beings and not like with somebody doing their home, I think we'll be able to show a lot more love to one another, bro. Because that's what we need. 2020 was corny as hell. 2021, man, we gotta bring love back. You know? Love Street. I mean, they're just, they're just speaking facts, y'all. That's all. There's someone that I know, and I've been around this person for a year now, and he's an older man. He's in his late 50s. He was married to a woman and kept his sexuality a secret all his life. 
okay? And he was married for 17 years, by the way, with a woman. Most of his life, he kept it a secret. And this was a time, remember, that it was more dangerous to be homosexual. A lot of gay people were getting murdered, beaten, so it was scary for him. But he finally came out after he divorced, and he is happy with his partner, and he's finally able to be himself. So everyone who is trying to discover themselves and are questioning their sexuality, do not live for other people. If you do that, you'll live a happy life. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.